Hey guys, welcome back to another Mesh Pre Weekly Technicals. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and head over to the free Telegram group. The links are all down below in the description. Here we have a look at the NASDAQ. So, similar, it, obviously, it's very similar to the SPX if you've already watched that video. Uh, but we look at the monthly chart. We've got one day left on closure, and we're seeing no retracements. We're seeing a lot of bullish momentum in the market at the minute. Obviously, just some things to pay attention to. We, we've broken through this level where we established resistance previously at 15700, call it. We've started to break through that area, but obviously, we're still one day left on closure. I'd like to see price close above this area, but obviously, with tomorrow, we could see price pull back. So, obviously, just just got to uh, wait and see what price gives us upon opening. So we're bullish on the monthly if we go down into the weekly. Just having a look back at the historic price action. So we see now price approaching this level that we said, 15,700. So we see support and then we've seen resistance established at that area. So this is, I'm just paying attention to this range between say 15,900 and 15,700 call it. So Obviously, we'll look down into these smaller time frames at that range in a second. But if we look at the weekly time frame, so as mentioned, got nice bullish structure at the minute. Got that area consolidation broke, and we like you say we see nice bullish structure. But similar to the SPX, we have this whiff. So we've had a liquidity grab around the fifteen nine hundred area before pulling back. But then we failed to, we failed to, obviously, we haven't had a retest of this area yet. So, want to pay attention to, obviously, the 15, 250 area, potential retest of that area. But, if you say we're seeing bullish structure on the weekly, we do have a few things, obviously, to pay attention to. We've got this weekly trend line. We've got... Tap. We've got a few taps from that weekly trend line and then we've got a daily trend line sitting up here. So we have got this bit of a channel running up. Um, if we go down, nice, nice bullish on the weekly, go down into the daily. Now we're, we're seeing a little bit of sideways action, a little bit of consolidation. So once again, we, we look at this daily trend line. We see a tap here, we see a tap, we see a tap, we see a tap. So we can say we've got, we're respecting that that daily trend line. Uh, so if we see here, like I say, we have this area of consolidation, we have this level of support on the daily around 15, 15, 420. A great number. Uh, so we, we see, obviously, once we bounced off, off this daily trend line for one, two, for like the fourth or fifth time, we see the big move to the upside taking out this previous level of structure. But if we look over here, We've got a little bit of a, a trend line running down on the daily as well. So it looks like we're coming into an area of consolidation on the NASDAQ. Just off those couple of things. So you say we've got this this previous high on that trend line. And then obviously prices come down, made a higher low. But then we've made that, sorry, we made a lower high, but then we've made a higher low. And then price is coming back up towards this area, but we start to see that trend line. So what I'd like to, what I'll be expecting to see from the NASDAQ is a bit of consolidation into this squeeze. And then let's see what happens. Obviously, if, so let's go down into a four hour. Like I say, it's been very choppy on the NASDAQ, as you can see from here. We're not really respecting these ranges. You see here, this big move to the downside, and we started to establish support on the four hour around 15,400. As mentioned, we see area a lot of times with tapping here, even that way to the downside, and it's respecting it, it's maintaining support at that level. And then, like I say, once once we see this area of support to start to meet this trend line, that's when we see price obviously rejecting, and then we've seen a big move to the upside, but only as far as this trend line running down. So, like I say, I'm seeing an area of indecision. So I'd like to see, I'd like to see how this indecision start to play out. So I'll be waiting for price once it gets 
into that squeeze. Uh, I'll be seeing if 15, 650, if we can maintain, obviously on the one hour, on the lower time range, we see, get rid of these lines. We see on the lower time range, we're seeing support established down here, and then we've got a little bit of resistance and support established up here. But like I say, very indecisive. I'm expecting price to pull back inside that range before potentially break into the upside or to the downside. Just obviously a lot of indecision. But once again, guys, get yourselves over to the free Telegram group. Uh, we update our technical analysis through the week. But yeah, I'll just. I'd like to see this indecision because, as I say, I've not been taking a massive amount of trades over the last few weeks due to volume. Obviously, just trying to trade my edge. I have not seen many uh, high probability setups coming my way, but obviously, I'm not never trying to force anything within the market. Obviously, you only take the trades that fit your edge. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to see. I'd like to see fifteen nine hundred break maintain support and then start to take longs off that. That'd be my highest probability trades. Uh, if we see these areas, these lows breaking could potentially short, but I won't be, I won't be uh, looking to count the trend there. But yeah, basically just waiting to see what happens with this indecision on the NASDAQ at the minute, but get yourselves over to the free telegram group guys. And once we know what's uh, once we've got a clear bias on the NASDAQ, I'll put it all in the group like, but as we see it on the daily, we could even potentially come back, retest this area around 15, 600 before taking off. But once again, guys, just with this indecision, um, build your confidence, just take only the highest probability trades and quality over quantity, guys. But uh, yeah, get yourselves over to the group and that's my outlook on the NASDAQ for this week.